Yes, he was a British ex-British spy, uh, so he was pretty well trained by, you know, the MI5, MI6. Probably gone to, um, when he was younger, he would certainly have gone to one of the better uh, schools, maybe Eton, and then on to Oxford or Cambridge or something. And, um, it's all pretty straightforward kind of spy stuff. Um, and uh, then obviously he's a bit of a villain, so he would have travelled the world and used his contacts probably just post-Cold War into all sorts of espionage and stuff. We made up a fair old story of what he would have been up to and where he would have been up to. But it, it follows the sort of cliche spy route, but it's certainly very smart. What was it like during the show that sort of kind of established the hit series of the network? Is that difficult coming in or is that a good position to be in? Um, well, the studio that, that produces Brown Notice, um, FTVS, I, uh, I was uh, a lead in, in one of their series uh, for Mental. So I knew everybody in it. I knew pretty much everybody from that to Alfredo to uh, pretty much everybody I worked with. And they, um, they made it real easy. You know, and that makes it a lot easier because everybody's comfortable with you, you're comfortable with them, and you know, it's like keeping it in the family time. Yeah. So it allows a certain amount of freedom as an actor because you have that trust, and that made it fun. You play a, a very good villain. So, is there is there a decision in your head? Do you do you actively seek out roles that would kind of have that villainous edge to it, or is it just something if you feel like it's good and you just play it? Or do you love that? Bad guy kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I, I've done a couple of series on the playing bad guys. Um, Prison Break being one of them, um, with James Whistler. And not that you want to limit your options, but I find the bad guys the fun to play because there's so many more dimensions that you can do. And when you're not the lead in a show, um, the pressure's sort of off, and you're there. You know, basically it's a ratio to Hamlet or whatever you. You know, the more you can give the leading actors, the better it is for them, the better it is for the show. So I always enjoy that journey as an actor, to make it uh, fun and interesting and sort of as offbeat as I can. So yeah, I, love, I, I actually do love playing films. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it seems like we've got actors who turn director and directors who come out and play. Would you want to go onto the other side of the camera at any time, given that this is such, it seems like it's such an easy crew to work with that you'd be able to, if you wanted to segway, explore that out. Segue to the director. Um, yeah, I, I'd probably want to do it on, on, on Manus, but um, the, next, the next series that I do, um, if and when that is, I'll, I'll most certainly request that as part of the ongoing process. Because um, as an actor or director or writer, so I think it's so important to be in touch with everybody else's role uh, in the production of these things. That um, why not? Go do it. Learn. It. And uh, yeah, I'm most certainly interested. In uh, for your art on, on Burn Notice, did you know going in that that was going to be your art that you were going to... Yeah, yeah, it was uh, set for the five episodes that I was in it, and uh, I, I knew the basic structure of the art, and I liked it, but it was fun, a fun ride, and, and um, like I said, Alfredo and Matt, you know, because I knew them, they were very clear with me, and, and um, we decided to just have fun with it, you know, and made sort of Gilroy... I kind of fall in love with Michael Weston in a way, which made it fun for me on the way out. This is the last question. No, I, no go ahead. Okay. Um, can you tell us what's next? What's going on? For what's me? coming up? Yes. That's um, what I was going to ask. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm doing an episode of Face of Kate, uh, which is a show that shoots in Vancouver. We'll be uh, shooting that in the next two or three weeks. And after that, I don't know. I'm, um, I'm in a development process to create my own series uh, at the moment, and uh, I'll probably, you know, that, that needs a lot more attention, a lot more work, uh, and it's uh, predominantly why I haven't been on screen so much lately, so uh, I'll, I'll stick to that and see how it goes. I'll keep my fingers crossed. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.